Hello guys, I am Swastik Sharma and today I will be talking about infrared rays and also various technologies where infrared rays are being constantly used. So let's go. Before we jump right into understanding infrared rays, we need to understand some terms first and the first one is electromagnetic radiation. So electromagnetic radiation is basically waves of electromagnetic field that are propagating through space. So basically it is a form of energy that is all around us and it takes many forms. For example, radio waves, microwaves, x-rays, gamma rays, infrared rays and even visible light. Yes, the visible light around us is kind of an electromagnetic radiation. Now that we know about electromagnetic radiation, let's jump back to electromagnetic waves. So every electromagnetic wave has a characteristic called wavelength and wavelength is basically the interval between two identical points in a wave and that wavelength basically gives us the understanding of what form of electromagnetic radiation it is. This means that the visible light, radio waves, microwaves, x-rays and gamma rays have a certain wavelength and even infrared rays have a certain wavelength. So the wavelength of infrared rays is greater than that of visible light. So now let's talk about infrared rays. Infrared rays are invisible to the human eye and they can be used in the technology around us without disrupting the visible life around us. And also the visible life around us won't disturb the infrared technology that we can use. So infrared rays are generally invisible to the human eye and they are used in a lot of technologies around us. An example of this would be your TV remote. A TV remote emits infrared rays and it is not visible to us. But if you want to check if your TV remote works, you can just point your phone camera towards your TV remote, the light at the end of your TV remote. And you can point your camera towards it and press any button on the remote. You will be seeing light emitting from the bulb on the end of your TV remote in your video camera. Our human eyes are not capable of seeing light waves that have longer wavelengths. But the cameras are able to see light that has longer wavelengths. And that's why we can see our TV remote emitting some light when we press the button in front of a camera. So whenever we press a button on the TV remote, the TV has an infrared sensor. And the job of this infrared sensor is to detect infrared rays coming towards it. So when we press a button on the TV remote, the infrared sensor will detect infrared rays coming towards it. I'll be explaining the TV remote example in more detail in an upcoming video. But right now, I just wanted you to get an idea about infrared rays. The places where infrared rays are used are cricket hotspots. They are used a lot there to check if the ball has hit the bat or not. Then there are obstacle avoiding cars. There are infrared sensors embedded onto obstacle avoiding cars to check if there is an obstacle in front of it or not. We'll be discussing more uh, about this in a future video about infrared sensors. But right now, just understand where it can be used. And if you have played games like Call of Duty or Ghost Recon, you must have seen something called as a thermal scope. So the job of thermal scope is to detect thermal infrared energy around it. This basically makes it easier to spot enemies in the dark because we, our human body emits thermal infrared energy and thermal scopes can detect that energy. So this will help the people in the army to detect enemies easier in the dark. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more informative content that we'll be uploading in the future. Press the bell icon so that you get the notification of the infrared sensor video that I'll be uploading in the future. Thank you.